Um, I'm going to go a little bit here into everyone's, everyone's heard of the Nuremberg Code. The Nuremberg Code is not an international treaty. There are no signatories to it. It's a brilliant document, but it is an aspirational document. It's something that was produced after the Nuremberg military tribunals in 1946 and 1947. They came out with this code. And it was meant to spur countries into improving their legal systems. So decades later, the Ontario legislature, they uh, passed, passed a bill and it became known as the Healthcare in, in uh, the Healthcare Consent Act, and it defines informed consent. 1996, it defines informed consent in Ontario, and informed consent is a, is a enhanced version of consent. You must provide it before any type of medical procedure is to be um, in any way um, provided to you. So. If you do not provide informed consent, it's you break the law. That is that is a that's a civil tort. You could be sued for that, and it could be worse than that. But at the very least, um, you could be sued for violating someone's right to provide informed consent. The the, the Healthcare Consent Act mentions this expressly and ex it explains what health what informed consent is, the elements of consent and everything. The Health Protection and Promotion Act which is our Health Act. And this, that act gives the powers to the Chief Medical Officer of Health. Directive 6 was made under Section 77.7, this Health Protection and Promotion Act. The act says under immunization, no immunization without consent, and it mentions the Healthcare Consent Act. Under Section 77.8, it says no testing without consent. Yet, what does this absolutely moronic and tyrannical piece of legislation say? It says forced testing and forced vaccination. It is illegal yes. and unconstitutional. Yes. Blatantly illegal and unconstitutional. And they're relying on this right now to say for in the employer-employee context that you must provide you know, a test or be vaccinated or provide your personal health information, also illegal under the Health Protection and Promotion Act, which only applies to healthcare workers, by the way. But as I said, it is flagrantly illegal, this directive.